Welcome back to Reynolds Workshop. Doing a review of the uh, uh, Deluxe Solar Educational Kit uh, that you can get on Amazon. There's a link below. Uh, it's from Elenco, uh, which is an electronics uh, parts company that you may be familiar with. Um, this thing was $22.99 on Amazon. Uh, apparently it comes with all the parts and things you would need to do any solar sort of activities. Uh, we're all looking for something to do in the fall for school. So let's open this bad boy up. Oh, there's instructions in here too. Um, seems simple enough. Uh, lots of little parts and doodads you can play with. However, um, the box is certainly large enough to store all these pieces after you take this all apart, I hope. A little static. Um, I don't foresee my students being able to put all these pieces back in here together, but we'll we'll find out. Uh, not sure what the cardboard is for, but we'll take a look at that. Solar panel, as well as a whole bunch of different objects to power with the solar panel. So there's an electric motor, um, some sort of buzzer, uh, a light that looks like an Edison light bulb, which I think is funny, uh, and, a, and a couple of fan blades and discs for the electric motor. Um, the ooh, solar panel is simple, seems rugged. Um, I don't think the kids are going to break this anytime soon unless they step on it or something. And on the back, it has all these little screws, which I'll talk about uh, in a bit. All right. To put this thing together, it seems pretty simple. You need uh, this angled connector and the base piece, which is underneath all of the yellow discs. So it clips in, solar panel clips in the other way, I think, this way, helps me do it right. Okay, uh, and then this will stand up on its own, and you can articulate it towards the sun, uh, wherever that may be. Um, you'll notice all of the connectors have these ring uh, connectors on the ends. Uh, those are simplistically enough uh, attached to these posts on the back which are all labeled positive, negative, positive, negative. Um, and depending on what you're trying to do, like the light draws less power, I imagine, than the motor. Uh, the motor probably draws more power than this, this simple buzzer. Uh, and with these jumper cables, you can jump power from one panel to the next panel uh, to either work in series or parallel. Um, and you can discuss that with your students as well. Um, comes with this little tiny wrench, which is really hard to get out of here. Um, haven't quite figured out what this is for since it doesn't seem to fit. These are Phillips head screws and these are round uh, knobs. Don't know what this goes to. Um, could, can help you there. Um, this one does have a nut on the back. That fits. But it doesn't give you a Phillips head screwdriver so I'm not sure why you would need this. Uh, the idea is that this is the base holder for the electric motor which you can pretty much just squish into there. And this is the base for the electric motor. Get that out of there. And it twists, twists in and rotates into place. Um, now, so I'm not sure why you need uh, um, a wrench, but whatever. Um, what else? I think the gist of things here is pretty simplistic. Uh, it comes with very few parts that are breakable. I don't imagine any of these coming apart anytime soon. This seems pretty rugged, although um, a little flexible. Maybe that's on purpose so that if it does fall over, it doesn't break. Um, and the motor does come with all these discs and fan blades and stuff that just press onto the axle. Um, and you can either add these cardboard stickers to the discs. Uh, you could, you know, obviously mark this with a Sharpie or something and count rotations or revolutions. You can pull this off of here and put the fan blade on. I haven't yet taken it outside to see how fast this goes, but I would be concerned that uh, little kids are sticking their hair and their fingers and stuff inside this fan blade. Um, I know it's just thin plastic, but that sometimes is worse. It can cut you just as good. Um, and I haven't tried the, the lights yet, but all in all, seems simple enough. Seems like it could work for a very basic introduction electronics program. Uh, the instructions actually, I should mention, do have some, info on solar power 
I don't know if you'd be able to utilize this in your class as a handout, but if you gave each kid a kit, they would have some basic information. Um, it does talk about the wiring and how the solar panel actually works, uh, which I think is cool, and how to get different power um, settings out of this one panel. So that's kind of cool. Um, see, so like, for example, the light, you need all these jumpers to make the light work, um, which is kind of cool. Um, so all in all, um, price point seems pretty good, $23. Um, not too shabby. We'll see how it works. Okay, so we're outside playing with our uh, solar panel. And I have it set up the way for the uh, light, as the book indicates. So you're pulling power off of uh, these two posts and then jumping them to the other posts. According to this, each row of panels offers up 1.5 volts at uh, 100 milliamps. So you need all three uh, to give you 300 milliamps. Um, and if you put that in the sun, and it is super bright out here, I don't know if you can even see that, but it barely, barely lights up this very dim bulb that's inside here. Uh, it is an actual Edison bulb, and I'm not sure you can even see that, but it, you're, it's barely visible outside. So uh, clearly, if you're outside and it's bright out, bright enough to make your solar panel work, you should have a light that's actually bright enough to see. So I'm not totally impressed with that. Um, I'll switch it over to the motor, which according to the instructions um, also draws the same amount of power as that, as that bulb, and we'll see what happens. All right, so I have my electric motor set up with the stand, and I put the blue fan blade on there. I've swapped out the light. The wiring, actually, for the light and for the motor are the same, uh, indicating that this also draws uh, a couple hundred milliamps. And let's put it in the sun. Hey, look, it spins. Doesn't make any noise. Spins relatively quick. Uh, it's not going to cut anybody, I don't think. It'd be nice to put a on-off switch in here somewhere. That'd be great. Because as soon as you wire this up, if you do it outside, it, it turns on immediately. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be a good addition to the kit. Um, simple enough, I suppose. You can swap out the fan blade. You can get it off of there. For a spinning wheel or disc. There doesn't seem to be a good way to mount this in anything other than the mount that it comes with, so that if you were trying to make a solar-powered car or something, and this is spinning, but you can't see because it's a solid circle, um, there's no way to add this to a car or make it actually do anything, so that's too bad. Um, I'll swap it over to the to the uh, noisemaker. Uh, I imagine this is a piece of electric speaker, but we'll find out. We'll see what happens. All right, now you'll notice immediately that the uh, music player, they're calling it, is working, even though it's facing the ground. I'll turn it towards the sun. And that's not my phone ringing or anything, that's this thing doing what it does. Again, an on-off switch would be super duper. Um, the book does go into uh, the basic wiring that this thing uh, only draws uh, about 100 milliamps but at four and a half volts so you're wiring these uh, together differently than the other two it doesn't really go into a whole lot of information on series and parallel which I guess is up to the teacher uh, these little screws I found to be a little a little difficult because they're so close together uh, speaking of the little screws in the book, it labels them one, two, three, four, five, and they're not labeled anywhere on here, so a student might get stuck on on that. Again, an on-off switch would be sweet. Um, I'm just gonna turn this off. But otherwise, uh, all in all, not a bad kit. Lots of little pieces that can get lost. Uh, no on-off switch. I don't know. Price point feels a little high, but um, but we'll see.